Hey everybody, this is Edger Joe, and welcome to the third and final video um, in the series that I'm making regarding um, creating charts in Excel and interpreting the data um, and working out the calculations um, to solve this problem of the malaria in Katanga. So, um, what we've done up to now is we have uh, collected our data, we have used calculations um, to get uh, more accurate data, then we use this data to create three models um, in the form of charts, and then we interpret the data to find out which swamp uh, is the culprit and needs to be sprayed by insecticide that's causing the malaria. In this final video, I just want to show you how you can print this for your teacher, um, in my case, my students printing it for me, so that you have all the information on one sheet. So what you need to do in Excel, you go ahead to File, and then you say print and then you will see here's a preview on the right hand side of what it looks like and you can see at the bottom here you've got two pages um, and that's not what we want so this is portrait orientation and we want to immediately change that to landscape so if I'm coming down here you can see the portrait orientation I'll click on that one and change it to landscape so when we do that we can see we almost have all the data um, but our two charts, model 1 and model 3, are cut off and we don't want to print it like that because that doesn't look good. So we have to go to our scaling. So if I just go back to my first one over here, I'll use this vertical scroll bar and at the bottom where it says no scaling, I'm going to click on that arrow and I want to say fit the sheet on one page. And if I do that, you will see now we've got all the information on one sheet and now that is ready for you to print it out um, for your teacher so that he or she can mark it and check that you've done the work correctly. So I'm not going to actually physically print that, I'm just going to leave it like that for now because I want to show you another method um, that your teacher will probably ask you as well just to make sure that you didn't type in the information. So I'll just go back with using that arrow so just to make sure that you actually put in formulas um, for these values and you didn't actually copy someone or type it in or something like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to highlight that selection because the second print we don't want to include the um, the charts, I just want the, the information we have um, in the range A1 to H9 which is that. Uh, for this I will need my ribbon just to come back quickly so I just right clicked and selected that and I'm going to go to where it says formulas. So formulas and I want to say show formulas. So as soon as I do that suddenly it enlarges it. So don't panic now. If I, if I click on that one again it's back to normal. So this is just for the formulas and you can see uh, down there and there is all the formulas that I've used. So while it's in that mode I'm going to say file print and um, you will see, whoops, uh, no it's still fine but um, we don't want it like that, so it was very small because I want to get rid of um, uh, the charts in a sense. I'll just go back again and show you. I've highlighted um, all of that, so I just want to use the highlighted version. So I want to go to print and then when it says print active sheets over here, I want to say print selection because that's what I selected. And now you can see it's much bigger. I can see all of that and that is ready to print as well. So your teacher should probably ask you for two prints. One is the normal printout with the charts and the other one is the prints uh, that shows your formulas that you have used. And um, and that's it. I'm not going to pr uh, press print obviously but uh, my students will do that and I'm just going to go back to the normal view and I'm going to go back to home here so you can see all these things again. So um, so that is it. So in the last three videos, you learned how to do some simple calculations in um, in Excel. Um, you learned how to create um, charts in the form of these three charts here that are models. Uh, you learned to interpret the data, and you learned how to print out uh, using the landscape orientation as well as the formula view itself. So um, and that's quite cool. And that shows a lot of understanding in Year 7 in terms of Excel spreadsheets. So thank you so much for watching these three videos. I hope you learned a lot. And um, I'll hopefully see you in one of the other videos that I've made. Please check out my YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe and um, to follow me on Twitter. Um, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.